right, so here we go with round one. And when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get right. back to his feet. Quick. Whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you've got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to your space. If not, you're going to find yourself... No! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Again, they will clinch. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch. Punch to the head from the clinch. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Blocks the shot. Edwards gets caught with that punch. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh, beautiful jab from Nate Diaz. If he gets that weapon going early, could be trouble. Yeah, he starts touching him with the jab over and over again. And then when he starts to let that right hand fly, you start to see real big reactions from his opponent. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. In fight numbers for you now. 29 total strikes have landed for Nate Diaz. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Right under the elbow, the body kick land. Whiffs on the right hand. Big kick lands. Edwards is low. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, big left hook there. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Diaz. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Diaz gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Ooh, blocks the shot. Well, now if you're the opponent, you've really got to be careful as Diaz is able to find a home for that right hand yet again. When Diaz starts landing the right hand, you have got to stay firm. You have got to dig your heels in the ground and say, no way you're going to just run me over. Easier said than done when you're facing Nathan Diaz. Nice body kick. Ooh, what a punch. that kick there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Punch coming, it's blocked. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, that left hand is funny tonight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Diaz. Under a minute now to go in this one. All right, single collar tie now. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie Reach back inside and try to find space. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Oh, nice right hand. 15 seconds.
Watch, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. And it was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. He blocked the punch. And he landed the right hand there. Try to hip escape. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Elbow lands there. Nice job by Edwards. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Gets up again here, but hurt. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. So 99 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. And connecting with just a 36% accuracy there. Connection right up the cut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight ones are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Diaz gets up. He is back on the feet here. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. So a much different approach. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. Let's see if he can get that ground pound. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount, and they rush. They get nervous. They're like, oh, my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is. And that's going to do it. Do you believe it? He's done. He's done. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 44 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Nate Diaz! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I
It is a welterweight matchup between Tony Ferguson and Leon Edwards. Are you ready? Are you ready? First round underway. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How you gonna follow this one? Right hook to the body. Oh! Two's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Big knee to the body. Oh! Oh, nice right hand. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, straight right. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Ferguson gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back in range. Ooh, blocks the shot. Another shot lands upstairs. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Nice look like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down, John. Oh, he might be out. So we call on the numbers here. These are unofficial, but 42 total strikes. He now landed for Tony Ferguson. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Came to the body by Ferguson. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, nice elbow. That one. finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder. Well, he caught the kick there, and then counters with the takedown, so a lot of fighters, when they catch that kick, will move immediately into the takedown, and it worked out for him. It worked out great. On the leg, goes right into his opponent and put him on his back. Gets touched by that kick to the body. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big kick lands. Rips the body there. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Effective punch there by Ferguson. So he's really starting to put together some significant... Oh! Serve him up. Go get him. Under a minute to go. And what has been a wild round one. Man! Edwards' is lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, so back to the well with the elbows, and I guess if it's not broken, no need to fix it as he lands another combination. He's getting it so close that it's hard to land anything else, so he's shortening up those elbows, and they're landing beautifully. Let's go, let's go, finish this, guys, come on. 
That one snuck in. Nice strike. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Audie lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed into a knee to the body, it could in the night. And he landed the right hand there. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Edwards gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, beautiful job by him there. Maybe the opponent was expecting the straight punch, and he goes to the hook. Mike Tyson used to have some of the best hooks in boxing, and this young man tonight is throwing him with that type of intensity. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot, and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough. All right, here we go with our second five minutes now. Ready? Round two, Tony Ferguson versus Leon Edwards. Switching stances here. Eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Slips the punch. Ooh, big shot land. 90 total strikes have now landed for El Kukui, Tony Ferguson and just 42% accuracy in terms of the land rate against Leon Edwards. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss. And she lands, he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. This fight is about the gun. He's got to work very fast with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Nice kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Punch coming. It's blocked. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Well, the Octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue to him. It's abandoned him, but he did it. He tried. He fought as hard as he could for as long as he could. Now it's about survival. Beautiful punch. Two minutes now to go in round two. Real sneaky body kick. Edwards gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down. And there comes the stoppage. He got him. What a fight. 
I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. decision is it. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 18 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tony Alcapuri Ferguson. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight.